this is Scott Wyden Kifowitz, and in this video, I just want to show you a really, really great app called Smart Mockups. Now, I've been using Smart Mockups for quite some time, but they just released 2.0, which has a newer interface, and it now has a bunch more mockup designs, some new categories, and share links and what I really like is animated GIF support. Now, I'm gonna show you how it works just overall and how it's useful for a lot of brands, but I, I really uh, don't have an animated GIF to show, so I'm gonna use a silly GIF from Giphy.com, all right? So basically, you have all these mockups, right, and there's 433 mockups, different categories. For example, if you want to do a mockup with a smartphone and you want to make sure that it is actually a photo uh, with a smartphone, not a like a, one of these, for example, you want to make sure it's a photo, you can go to that, you know, really, you know, dial down. You can say if you want it to be an iOS device or an Android device. So I'm going to say iOS device. You can sort it by popular. So let's say. Uh, this is the most, this is a, quite a popular one, and click on that. Now, this is an iPhone 5C. Now, what you can do is you can load an image from a file, or you can do URL of a screen. So, I'm going to just load my website so you can actually see how that looks. So, I'm going to hit capture after I type that in. It takes a little bit because it actually does have to load it in a little mobile mock -up. Now, this is the first time I'm doing a, the URL screen from Smart Mockups 2.0, and it is actually, a, it is actually a lot faster than the first version was. But you can see it actually did load my website on this phone, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Now I can go and I can uh, share the link right here. It's going to share the link. It's been copied to the clipboard, and I can actually share that link with anybody I want. So let's say I go ahead and I open a new browser window and I paste that URL. Now anybody who has this URL can see the exact mockup that I just did. And they can download the uh, this this mockup file right here by clicking the download button. This is a really good thing that Smart, mock, Smart Mockups has created. Now there's something else I wanna show you though, because you can also hit save image and download it as a super high resolution and get it at the highest possible quality. And now let's show you the, the animated GIFs. I'm gonna close out of that. Oh, and by the way, you can also crop your, your mockups too. You can hit the crop and then crop it however you'd like. So let's go to a desktop. Oh, let's go to a tablet, I think. And we're going to do a mockup from I want a vertical. No, maybe I'll do, yeah, let's be fun. Let's do this one. Okay. So now I'm going to add a animated GIF to this mockup. I'm going to load file. Yes, this one should work. And there we go. Now we get to crop, and I'm going to continue. And now we have a smart mock-up of this iPad with the animated GIF. How fun is that? So imagine this. It opens up the doors for many things. It opens up the doors for YouTube thumbnails, because now you can do an animated GIF of a, of, with a thumbnail if you really wanted to, and then with the mock-up, if you're doing a demo of something that's for a device specifically, and you could... Uh, make a static version of it that's not animated for the thumbnail and then your shared image for other you know promotions that you do or an email is animated how fun would that be you right? so that's one thing you can do you can also mock up uh, other images like t-shirts and billboards and things like that now I want to show you one that I did not too long ago that was a mock-up in smart mock-ups 1.0 so you can see here that the tr the thumbnail image, the preview image for this YouTube video is actually a smart mock-up. If I go to smart mock-ups, you actually see it right here. So we went through and looked at all the smart mock-ups to see what works best for this one video, and this worked out so well. So all I did after I did this was I made the image, and I went to crop, and then I went to 16 by 9, and then... Um, I saved it as super high. Look how big that resolution is. And then uh, I took out in Photoshop this, the Land Rover logo over here. 
because that's the only thing that's completely unrelated to photography that I added the watermark of the image and logo. So this this uh, thumbnail for this promo image for the product took me minutes to do using smart mockups on something that could have taken a very long time to do otherwise. So I really hope you check out smart mockups. It is a really, really cool app. Uh, and there is actually a desktop version, but the desktop version is limited. And I believe it's even watermarked. Uh, you're limited to what how many mockups you can see in the free version and whatnot. But uh, there is also a trial for the for the app. But it is so worth it. It's around fifty dollars, and they have coupon codes all the time. So if you like follow them on social media or you sign up for their email list, you'll get coupon codes for it. So if you want to save some money, uh, and if you use my affiliate link, then I do make a small commission on it. But it's you know small commission on fifty dollars at most is really not that much. So. But anyway, I do hope you check it out if you need something like this or something like this or something like this, like for a book or an ebook or posters or stationery or business cards or branding materials. <laughs> this is perfect for a chef um, <laughs> or something like this with the billboards and signage. So there's so many things. You got t-shirts. Imagine putting an animated GIF on a t-shirt. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things that you can do or just mock up your t-shirts if you want. So a trucker hat and a nice jacket. So yeah, I hope you check it out. Smart mock up, smart mock ups. And I will link to that in the description.